next director is one of my favorites and um, one of his movies has been made a sequel of and that is Tony Scott Tony Scott the brother of Ridley Scott who is going to be featured right after I cover Tony so Tony Scott's um, been no more of an action genre filmmaker but he made a film called The Fan starring Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes I believe in 1997 and one of these movies actually has Benicio Del Toro in a small role along with Ellen Barkin and John Logazamo. And the thing about this particular film is that it's so underrated and yet so taxi driver-esque in tone, which is actually ironic because, well, Robert De Niro did play Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver. I'm just figuring that out right now. But um, I think the performance is just... Um, the performance is just so deep that to watch Robert De Niro in a movie that's slightly glossy and that has sports and deals with parenthood is, I think, for me, one of Tony Scott's achievements because he's been so known for like big budget films. So the fans starring Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes is going to be my first pick for Tony Scott. And then my next pick is going to be Crimson Tide with uh, Denzel Washington and don't tell me, don't tell me what's his name. It'll come to me. But um, it's a submarine movie um, with uh, his name's coming to me. Come on, come on, give me his name. Gene Hackman. So Gene Hackman, Denzel Washington, a submarine movie um, that has to do with the Cold War with uh, Russian missiles. And the thing I like about this movie is just because because it's contained within a subway, I mean, in, within a submarine, there's not as much um, exteriors and everything's confined and you can feel the tension and there's a mutiny. And the performances and the way that Denzel Washington plays off of Gene Hackman are just two heavyweights in a way that's like uh, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in Heat, only in a submarine and only in a submarine. So that to me is a much more classic Tony Scott film in terms of action underneath the water. And then I'll go for the one that's been made into a sequel and that is Top Gun. So Top Gun with Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, and a few other, a few other notable performances is something that you just can't leave out of a Tony Scott um, auteur filmography. I think the flight sequences, the opening scene with the montage, just the entire film was just one of those films that has set the precedent for, um, you know, flying action movies and inspired the likes of Michael Bay. So that'll be my third for Tony Scott. So The Fan, Crimson Tide, and Top Gun. And then my next filmmaker is his brother, Ridley. So Ridley is known for Gladiator, which I'm not gonna cover.